Hi everyone. Um, I worked on consolidating patient records and the main problem I was trying to solve was around care coordination and American Medical Association estimates this problem to cost the healthcare system 27 to 78 billion dollars. You might be shocked at that, but the reason for it is that the most costly patients in the healthcare system have a lot of complex issues and when they go to different specialists, it's really hard for those specialists to communicate with each other and that's how they end up making really bad decisions because they don't know what another specialist is doing with the patient. The patients usually don't have the medical context to uh, relay that information. So for today, my game plan was to ideally connect with Google Sheets API. That way you can gather random rows from each record you're given and have somebody consolidate those rows specifically. So look at names of John Smith in different data sets and be like, yeah, I'm pretty sure John Smith in each one of these is the same, even though there are some typos, even though there are um, some discrepancies. And then fine tune a model to know um, the accuracy and sort of the sensitivity needed um, in the discrepancy. And um, consolidate data and have one data set that represents every fragmented source that we were using. Um, so I started out with a data set and the main time consuming thing was that I wasn't able to create fragmented sources of data organically. So I took out one of the columns of the data set, matched it with the names, and then just ask ChatGPT to make some typos in some of the names for me. Um, however, I wasn't able to successfully fine tune a model after that. And uh, instead, last minute, um, created um, chat with a document, which was a CSV document, and tried different ways to basically um, figure out if I change the name of the patient with some typos, and put it in, is it still gonna be able to find which one of the patients in the record this one was, and sort of test out what it's good at and what it's bad at by prompt engineering. And yeah, happy to test something that comes to mind. This one, I think the real name was Don Roach, and we can change a little bit of it. I added a typo, and then asked it which one of the records is closest to this record, and it gave me the right one last time. Um, what sort of typo should we create with this name? Or like any one of these we can change, like medications, medical conditions, like, um, I know it's hard to imagine what like sort of discrepancies could happen, but, yes. Let's see, Roach, comma, Dom. Oh, that's a good one. Let's see. Oh wow, it, it made a mistake here. So it got Rachel Davidson. Um, so yeah, I think like understanding which sort of these discrepancies is bad at um, was a good start and then um, it, it will help me fine tune the model better. Um, so yeah, any questions? Awesome. Thank you. What's that? Was this a custom model oh. number? I just retrieved all the data. I wasn't able to use uh, the fine-tuned custom LLM, unfortunately.